Always when we're planning a, a new build vessel, we carefully consider the design, both for where the vessel will be used and trying to implement new ways of optimizing the design. In this case, we took the decision to move some of the main building blocks, the accommodation and, and the bridge forward and the, um, the front left, so that we can get a more efficient vessel. And thereby, within the same overall size as its, its predecessor, we have now a, a vessel that can carry more containers. The advantage of a forward accommodation is that we can get more containers on board. In this case, 650 TU, 20 foot equivalent units, more than we would otherwise. This comes from two parts. One is the fact that we can use the, the fat part of the hull for cargo instead of below the accommodation. And secondly, that we don't need to consider the visibility line from the bridge and thereby having to re reduce the stack height on the base forward of the accommodation. So these are the, this is the advantage. There are also disadvantages uh, or challenges, I would say. Main one being the torsional strength of the vessel. A container ship is like an open shoe box, if you like, which is not very stiff in, in torsion. And usually the accommodation provides stiffness. It does less so here, so we've had to take some measures in the design and, and have been able to address this. Maneuvering the vessel will be different in some ways, in others not. The navigators standing on the bridge looking out will have a different perception because they cannot see a long foreship showing the turn rate of the vessel. So we've, for that reason, installed additional navigational aids, such as cameras looking both forward and aft of the vessel to help the navigators. And they have been sent to a simulation course to familiarize themselves before taking over the vessel. On the other hand, what happens below the waterline is not any different. We have the same equipment available, which is the rudder and the thrusters, and the hull form is also not so different. So the action taken from the bridge in a certain situation shall be the same. We have chosen to move the accommodation forward, and this will be a different position for the crew living on board. I've spoken to some of these crew members, and they are fully confident and looking forward to take the vessel to sea, knowing that there are these differences. Because it's a, a known fact that a vessel moves more at the ends when it's sailing in waves than it does in the middle of the ship. But due to the sheer size of this vessel, those absolute movements are not as large in relative terms. They are still within normal industry standard, even in very, very high waves. And if we compare it to a, a smaller vessel, a feeder vessel, where the accommodation is completely aft, then those motions are actually higher than on this vessel. And then we could consider the other forms of nuisance on board, such as noise and vibrations from a propeller and engine. These are very low on this vessel, where there is such a large distance between living quarters and an engine. We have chosen to paint the accommodation block white instead of the usual cream, as it has been traditionally, which is part of a new, more distinct appearance of these new vessels, which we started last year. This comes along with the, the company logo and company name on the hull size, which is also white. Maersk is the first ship owner to apply such a design with forward accommodation on a very large container ship. It will be interesting to see if others will follow.